Do you remember about the first time you learned about eating healthy? Let me guess. You were in an elementary school classroom and a teacher showed you something like this. Look familiar? That's the Department of Health and Human Services Food Pyramid. It's how we were taught about diet for years. And in my opinion, they've got it all wrong. Just look at the biggest group, bread, cereal, grains, and pasta. It's no wonder we're dealing with an obesity problem here in America. In my opinion, it's time to turn that pyramid on its head, or at least shuffle it around a little bit. What am I thinking? Clearly, it's a little different. And in my opinion, it's way better. I mean, we're keeping fats, good fats, like olive oils and avocados, as the most important things you should be eating, as well as leafy greens and cruciferous veggies, like broccoli and cauliflower. Now here's the next amazing thing that I think is so important. It is the second pillar of my pyramid. Don't eat anything. It's called intermittent fasting, and I guarantee you this is what our ancestors did every day of their lives. Do you really think our ancestors came out of their cave every morning and said, what's for breakfast? There was no breakfast until we found breakfast. Skip a meal, one of the keys to this pyramid. Now the middle part of the pyramid contains nuts, not legumes, not peanuts and cashews, flour alternatives that are approved like coconut flour, like almond flour, and two grains that don't have lectins, sorghum and millet. Resistant starches such as green bananas or plantains, these two groups feed friendly bacteria. And I can't emphasize how important it is to feed friendly bacteria the foods they like. Next up, the animals of choice are wild-caught seafood and pastured poultry and omega-3 eggs. Make no mistake, free-range chickens are not pastured chickens. They're fed corn and soybeans, even if it says organic, it's organic corn and soybeans, and they're never let outside. Lastly, on this level of my food pyramid, is in-season fruits. Fruits, as you'll find in the plant paradox, are like candy and should be treated as candy. They should only be eaten in season. The next to the highest level is Southern European cow's milk, goat and sheep and buffalo milk dairy. These have casein A2, which is a safe protein to use but this should be in limited quantities. The same goes for grass-fed and pasture-fed cows, sheep, and pigs. These should be very limited because they contain a sugar that you're going to learn about in the plant paradox that actually causes heart disease and causes cancer. Finally, you can enjoy red wine, champagne, or dark spirits a few times a week, but it should not be an every everyday event. Now the most important part of this period is this large rectangle that sits on the bottom. And these are the foods that you want to avoid. These are the major causes of your obesity and your brain fog, your acne, and your weight gain. The important things to realize is that great fats and great leafy vegetables should be the cornerstone of all of our diets. Enjoy all the rest of these things in moderation, but absolutely stay away from the forbidden foods. So that's a lot to take in, but sign up for my newsletter at Gundry MD, and I'll send you a PDF of this for your own personal use. That way you can have Dr. Gundry's food pyramid with you at all times, take it shopping with you. The more you follow the new food pyramid, the more your health will change for the better. And that's what I'm after for every one of us, to have lifelong health, to have an amazing health span. And I've done this for you because I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.